Hello, I'm Tim Pockle from Wise Media. I'm here with Joseph Nugent, who is the Director of Passport Services at Ireland's Department of uh, Foreign Affairs and Trade. Good morning, Tim. Good How are you? Good morning. I'm well, thank you. Um, I understand that Ireland has had an e-passport for some time, some years, but um, you've also decided, or you have decided, and completed a complete upgrade to this in terms of um, new anti-counterfeiting measures. Can you um, tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Well, Tim, last October uh, we chose the opportunity of a, of a new contract uh, to, to upgrade many of the security features on our book. As you mentioned, we had an e-passport from 2006, but we felt that it was opportune to change some of the design. This was in, in line with international best practice to refresh and make sure that the measures that we put in place are the best that we can do. So mm. we took the opportunity to try and put in place some innovative security measures, uh, some changes to, to, um, to the general layout of the book, and really to try and adapt and, and find a, a way of linking our security book, our security measures and the book with the Irish citizen generally, particularly those resident overseas. And so what we have are a series of, of iconic images of Ireland uh, using security, modern security approaches to provide that link between the passport book and the Irish citizen around the world. What are some of the actual security technologies that you're applying? I mean, obviously there's, sure. there's, there's print, but is there, are there other things? Yeah, so there? we start, I mean, as soon as we open up the book, we can see the first major change. And what we have on the front page is, is a Spark image using Spark technology um, and, and a stone, which is an entrance stone to uh, a, a me megalithic site in Ireland called uh, Newgrange. And it's very much a, an introduction to the book itself. So at the entrance stone to the, to the megalithic tomb, we equally have this entrance stone to the book itself. So that's the first major change, and it's quite a, quite a nice and refreshing piece of, of technology being used most recently on the new Euro banknotes. So we've, we've taken that to a, to a very strong level. We've equally introduced uh, using a technology product called Nautilus. So we have on, on the visa pages for each uh, of our books um, a particular uh, set of uh, limitations or a particular set of features appearing on that. So using a filter, we can present a series of images that are hidden from oh, the I normal see. view. Okay. So yeah. using this Nautilus filter, we can add to that. And then right through the book, we have reflected images of Ireland from that are well known to, to Irish citizens and those visiting Ireland, from the Cliffs of Moher right through to the Rock Cashel at the end of the book. And why did you feel it was important to integrate these sort of images and design into a passport because I, I'm not sure whether people actually look at <laughs> I mean I certainly I don't couldn't even tell you now what's on the pages of my passport okay. I've got any I've got a UK passport but okay I just know that they're pages I suppose as, as an island nation um, Irish people ha are known for traveling uh, worldwide and we have a very large diaspora based all around the world what we wanted to do was to present them with images that would remind them of home, that would remind them um, and point to, to those iconic representations of, of what, our, what it means to be Irish. So from our centre pages where we've included material around Irish music, we've included references to uh, sport, uh, being in Ireland from our own national games through to horse racing. And we've also incorporated a series of, of poems from some of our best okay. known poetry in mm -hmm. Ireland. So from William Butler Yeats, to the Irish poet Nuala Nigonal. And perhaps one of the interesting elements in included in the book was the inclusion of some Ulster Scots poetry um, representing um, a piece of a different tradition on the island itself. Oh, okay. And that for us was one of, the, one of the, the big challenges was to put in place a book that represented the entitlement of everybody on the island of Ireland uh, to hold an Irish passport while at the same time not making a, a claim on, on the, the island as a sure. whole. So that for us was a politically sensitive issue, but I think we handled it fairly well. And what's the reaction? I mean, has there been a, a, a reaction to Reaction's this? been positive. Uh, I think people have, have, well, have been, you know, well received the book. Um, I was in our office in London uh, about two weeks ago and met a 70-year-old man who was just so proud to see the images of him, of his yeah. county Clare, to, to remind him of, of that piece of home. And I think that's been the, love, the really nice piece of it. What we've also tried to do is build in some very simple uh, security technologies, again, to make it easy for people to validate what is, uh, what's a valid or what's a true or proper passport book. So on each page of the book, we have a half image of, of uh, what's called a river god. So a, 
a series of, of images representing the rivers and lakes and waterways of Ireland. And by joining the two pages together, it's not going to be easy to see on screen, but by joining the two pages together, you, you basically bring the, the images of these heads into a, into a single point. Oh, I see. And, and again, a very simple technology, but at the same time something that, that somebody who's not travelling, who's using the book for yeah. other purposes so can... So it, repre can it represents the, the sort of national yes. identity rather than just the individual identity. And for us that yeah. was very important, yeah. you know, as well as, as being taking care around protecting the, the identity of the individuals, that we also had a book that, that did do something okay. towards our national identity and make a statement about what it means to be Irish, the essence okay. of and Ireland, and, I guess, adds, you know? and add some security features. And add security features unique. at the same time, yeah. yeah. Right. And, I, and as I said, I think some of the technologies we've deployed through the book um, are very significant from a security point of view. So from that spark image, the Nautilus image, the thermochromic reactions that we've built into the mm. book itself, um, but doing it in a way that makes sense, doing it in a way that's understood by the Irish public. Yeah. Very interesting. Great. Well, thanks a lot for talking thanks to me. Thanks very much, Tim. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.